The Alpine Inn Fall Rock Fest is coming October 8th with no cover charge and a free shuttle to Bennett O'Reilly's, plus yard games and an outdoor bar. Enjoy a full day of music with Jen Wilder, Overplayed, and the Greedy Volunteers. Check out the Alpine Inn on Facebook for more information. Get outside in Pepin County. Pack up the family and visit the childhood home of Laura Ingalls Wilder. Sail on Lake Pepin, bike the Chippewa River State Trail, hike up Maiden Rock, and throw a line in a trout stream. Sign up to win a vacation at visitpepincounty.com. Winona has got a story to tell you. October 14th and 15th is the first ever Sandbar Storytelling Festival. Hear compelling stories about the human experience and cultural traditions by award-winning and nationally known storytellers. Learn more and get your tickets online at sandbarstorytellingfestival.org. We connected with the artist and muralist Cameron King. We talked about the process for art, the energy and poppiness in the work, influences, his creative use of positive messaging, and getting into murals which have been popping up around town. You can find more conversations, food reviews, live music, and events on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. My name is Cameron King. I was born in Sacramento, California. I've been in lacrosse for about six years now. But I have been doing art since I was a kid, I guess, always. I've always been doing art in all forms or just making stuff and tinkering with stuff. But I've always loved to draw and paint. And a lot of people in my family are artistically inclined. So I just kind of was around it a lot when I was a kid and grew up with my, my grandpa draws and paints and is a really incredible artist so he influenced me a lot with that too but and I've got some tattoo artists in my family and just random artistic people my mom and my dad are both really artistic too so yeah I've just been doing art always I always tell people and people ask me what kind of art I do I just say all (laughs) (laughs) so I came across your work on Instagram just seems like lots of energy poppy funny where do some of your influences lie in terms of maybe other artists, but also where do you pull from? Honestly, just like poppy is a good word. I like color a lot and I like color representing emotion, I guess, is kind of like a lot of it is just getting, yeah, getting energy out, getting that like angst out or just getting emotions out, getting feelings out in the form of color and shapes and just moving my hands like I get this like tingling in my, in my hands when I'm anxious and I gotta like do something <laughs> <laughs> but yeah as far as inspiration I don't know like a uh, lots of other artists and just color and like growing up on the west coast and seeing graffiti art and shit like that around me all the time and just bright colors and plants and flowers and just life in general I guess yeah everything taking in my surroundings a lot or just looking around or going for a walk or anything really. So what's your process for creating new work? I, I'm sure some things are, are different than others. You know, you kind of have these small works, but you also have a mural, which I recognize being down at the local park here. Like, yeah, what's I've, the process? I've yeah, it's, and it's totally different just depending on what you're doing. That's the thing. Like, yeah, there's sometimes it's so fucking tiny. And then sometimes it's like a, 10 by 10 foot wall and it's like oh shit that's intimidating (laughs) (laughs) but as far as creating new work it's kind of spur of the moment like I said it's influenced a lot by how I'm feeling just like in the day so which can be tough because it's like the ebb and flow of like making work can be like sometimes I don't feel like doing it for a while so I will kind of halt or there's some days where it's like I'm constantly doing it or like I really feel like I need to I have a home studio that I'm sitting in now but that has helped me with my like process a lot just having a studio at home because before it was like I was always going to the studio and all my shit would be there so if I wasn't able to do that then I the process would kind of be like stunted a little bit but now that I have it at home if I have an idea I just fucking run in here (laughs) and just do it or like right now I've got five different canvases out of my desk and then I'll just get one color of paint out and then add that color to each one. Mm. And then sometimes I'll walk away for a couple days and then I'll think about it all of a sudden I'll cross my mind when I'm sitting on the couch and I'll think, Oh, I should put red on those. And then I'll come in and I'll do that. Or with the collage stuff, that's like a whole different process where it's like most of the time I'm just sitting around clipping shit out of magazines and like throwing it in a pile. And then I go through the pile when I want a specific thing that I'm looking for or a word or something. But a lot of it is just like collecting 
materials and then just kind of figuring out how to put it all together <laughs> in a way that I want or like looking for the right thing or finding an empty space and filling it essentially, whether it's on a piece of paper or on a wall or on a canvas, more is more. Peeling through your Instagram page here, you know, you seem to have a lot of positive comments or just themes that also falls along the line of the mural you did. Why is that important to you? I don't know. It just it's important to me. So I assume that it's important for other people, too, because I think a lot about I don't know. I've got a lot of feelings and life is hard. I don't know. Life is fucking hard. And it's harder when you don't have those good reminders. That's what I think. <laughs> it's hard enough. And I think having reminders like that, that sometimes you don't even know that you need when it comes at the right time can be really good can be like a saving grace sometimes right like sometimes that thing just happens where like the you are loved mural for example if you're having i don't know like seeing something like that on a really shit day <laughs> could could really make it good you know or like i don't know or like being given a positive af affirmation when things are not going well can really change the game a lot and, and i didn't get those a lot as a kid or just in general so now i just started providing them for myself <laughs> <laughs> i'm like yeah i'm just gonna fucking write this on here i don't know if that's where it comes from a lot is just needing positivity in my own life so it's really it's for me first which may sound kind of selfish but it's like i need those need that positivity sometimes and I need those reminders so then I kind of put it out there and when it ends up being a good reminder for other people too I'm like okay good it's doing something <laughs> <laughs> making an impact in some way on somebody hopefully what was the connection with the mural is that one of your first ones or no I've seen I see a number of other murals up on a big walls on your Instagram yeah right? I've got I think that's maybe the fifth one that I've done Jackie Marcou who she's fucking awesome she works for like the city arts board and she is my main main chick as far as that type of stuff because she actually gave me my first mural that I ever did that was probably like four years ago now five years ago when they redid Luth Skate Park hmm. and they wanted to do a bunch of murals there so her and Landon approached me and were like hey we want to do like four or five artists would you want to do this and at the time I had never done a mural so I was very intimidated because I was like yeah used to doing like on a piece of paper right so I was like how the fuck am I going to paint this whole thing <laughs> But it ended up being awesome. And ever since then, I was just hooked on it. Like, it's so it's so fun painting a big wall. There's nothing there's nothing more satisfying than like working on that for a full week and having that just be there because it is so permanent, too, which is really fun. But yeah, she is the one who got me started with doing the murals. And then they kind of just started rolling in because I posted the first one and then. I did one after that, shortly after indoors at a yoga studio called Palm and Pine in town, which mm. is a really cool spot. Kat Soper owns that place. She's really cool too. The mural stuff just kind of started just by happenstance and then I just liked it. So I kind of started applying for more. Now I kind of look for like call to artists or if people are looking for one or now I've just started fucking doing mock-ups like just on my like taking pictures of walls downtown and then I send it to Jackie and I'm like, Hey, this would be a good spot for our mural. What do you think? <laughs> and the Big. park, that one. Yeah. That kind of just happened because they were looking for someone to do that one and they put out a call to artists. So I just made a design, submitted it and they liked it. So just looking through your work, you know, I'm sure there's more out there than what you have on Instagram, but it seems to have themes you talked about the positivity you know, mm -hmm. it also seems a lot of a series of different sort of characters coming back in terms of yeah. you know, arts, <laughs> arts with eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of thing you're working on right now that's something that's ongoing or something that you're always continually trying to work <laughs> with? Or is there? <laughs> yeah, the characters definitely come back a lot. And those I've been like the little heart guy. And there's a couple others that I've been kind of drawing and doodling with since I was like for a, a while like those were probably the first few things that I really started to like get attached to with like drawing and like motifs I guess that would come up a lot and then they kind of evolved but I definitely have been thinking about and wanting to do some kind of like monthly or weekly like zine that would have like little comics with those said characters or something kind of like that whether it's like an online comic or like a paper comic that I like release that's something I've been kind of tinkering with in my brain and like working on slowly like an addition yeah that would have those characters basically doing different things or just like a comic strip I loved what reading through the comics as a kid in the newspaper obviously I still do but that's like a huge huge goal would be to have like an ongoing comic strip in like a local paper or something but making a zine or something like that yeah it's definitely in the works for those characters since you're bringing those up
Hmm. That would be interesting. I don't know if they would have a, more of a universal or natural theme, but some sort of comic. You exactly. Know, Cause there's a whole cool. world that they definitely exist in that I like to draw them in. So that's, I'm wanting to kind of, I feel like I present them a lot of my Instagram. It's just kind of standalone things, but they do interact. So it would be nice to kind of build that world a little bit more. Definitely. I've stated a few times here, just found you on Instagram, you know, just connected to the local artist scene, you know, it says oh, you have paintings. Thank God prints. for Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> No kidding. Easy. It's easy for to find some people on here. Seriously. I'm such a homebody too. I'm like, I oh, know I can meet more people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just kind of looking at, you know, you offer paintings, prints, murals. Do people just connect with you directly there or do you have an online shop or how does it all work? Yeah. So the shop is in the works. That's another thing I've been working on. I'm kind of been, I'm re prioritizing kind of some things with my art stuff, but I'm looking to, yeah, I'm working on a website and like an online shop. So I can have everything kind of in one place. Cause right now it's tough. Cause yeah, I normally people just connect with me for commissions and stuff on Instagram or like via email or luckily we live in lacrosse. So I happen to run into a lot of people all the time who'll be like, Hey, yeah, can I buy a print from you? Which is really nice. But I have like some prints and stickers and stuff at like the co-op for sale too, which is nice. Cause those are just there. So people can like buy them from there, which is awesome. And I can like restock that spot. But I'm working on, yeah, getting a website together with like full shop and everything. Cause right now it's kind of just, yeah, Instagram or if people, yeah, hit me up and yeah, just doing kind of like in person stuff. I'm trying to, I really want to get like a, like a monthly art market going or like art mm -hmm. meetup somewhere in town here too would be super fun just to do like that you can count on once a month so that everyone can get their shit all in one place and in person and like bring it into real life because it is hard. Yeah, always selling stuff online or like waiting for someone to hit you up a little bit but yeah that's kind of what i've got lacrosse local podcast is a production of river travel media do you have an interview idea you'd like to share with us message us on facebook at lacrosse local find out more about us at lacrosselocal.com and you can subscribe to the lacrosse local podcast on your favorite podcast app if you like us rate us five stars we appreciate it.